This is Shane Dyer for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm delighted to be joined by British cruiserweight contender Jack Massey. First of all, how are you, mate? I'm good, mate. I'm good. How are you? And I am very well, thank you very much. Good now it's there. been it's been a while since you've been out out of the ring. Uh, I do believe it was about mid December your last. Fight. Yeah, December the, December the nineteenth. Uh, down in York Hall for the British title, so yeah, it's it's been a while. So, how how has this last been for you? Uh, last year been for you? You know, it's been hard. Um, I'm not going to complain. It's been hard for everyone, hasn't it? Um, you know, there's, there's people a lot worse off than me. Um, but you know, I'm just looking forward to be back in the ring and uh, doing what I do best. Have you have you managed to train all the way through the year? Yeah, um, you know, the first lockdown, it was nice weather, so I was doing a lot of outdoor stuff, doing a lot of running, keeping the running up and stuff like that. And then as soon as I could get back in the gym, it was straight back in. Is that what it's been all about? Is it like just um, being able to mix things up with training, just to keep it interesting? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, you got to mix it up. Um, I mean, through lockdown, I was doing a lot of open water swimming, which was mixing it up a bit, quite a bit. <laughs> found myself a wetsuit and uh, I was doing a bit of that at the reservoir down the road from me. So, you know, you just got to keep keep on it, stay active and do what you can in these uh, uncertain times. What is the key to like keeping the motivation up? Because obviously you've had to train knowing that there is no fight on the horizon for for the majority of this year. Just just how, what is it you've had to do just to keep yourself motivated? Uh, I don't know really. I've just... Just always look on the bright side and, you know, you've, you've always got to stay ready. You know, you could get a call up as soon as things are back to normal and the fights are back on. You can just get, a, you know, three-week notice fight or something like that. So, you've just got to stay mentally prepared for that, really. And like we said, you've been out the ring since last December. Um, it was it was a loss to Richard Riak for, for the British Cruiserweight title. Yeah. Now, considering you're lost and the old cliche in boxing is that you learn much more from a loss than a win. So has it, has it been like a positive from this? Has it been that it's given you time just, <coughs> to, just to learn what went wrong in that fight and having to Im and implicating it into your training? Yeah, definitely. I, I think I've learned a lot off that fight. You know, it, it went the full 12 rounds. It was a good, good solid fight. Um, I don't think I've took anything negative away from it. It's all, it's all been positive, um, especially all the feedback after the fight as well. Um, you know, it's a bit controversial and all that, but you know, it shot me right up, um, gave me that publicity as well. Um, even though I lost the fight, but being in there for a solid 12 round fight, it's put me in good stead for, for the you know, for this next fight. So, yeah, and let's let's look ahead to your next fight. It's uh, next weekend, November 28th, yeah. on yeah. the yeah. other side of Danny versus Joe Joyce against, yeah. An Iranian Massive, uh, opponent called Mohammed Ali Bayet Farid. What what can you tell me about your opponent? He's uh, I've had a little look at him. He's had eighteen fights, uh, sixteen wins with sixteen knockouts. He's had one loss and one draw. So you know he's he's uh, he poses as a threat. Um, you know he's coming for the win, and obviously he can uh, he can punch a bit by his record. But um, you know we're we're not we're not taking him like hardly, and we're going to uh, do the business and. Uh, and hopefully get a stoppage and a nice win on a um, you know a great bill with great viewings. Yeah, and uh, that's what I was going to go on to. It is on the undercard of Danny Dubois versus Joe Joyce, so there is going to be a lot of eyes on you. Is it, yeah, is it a case of not just winning but winning well? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, showing showing everyone what I can do. Um, you know, showing everyone my you know my skill set, and um, you know, hopefully get a stoppage as well. But you know, there's not going to be any crowds, but I think knowing that it's going to be a big, you know, big viewings, you know, because everyone's in lockdown and obviously it's a big, big card. Um, you know, that's that's good to spare me on. Do, do you feel as if it's putting any more added pressure knowing that you've got to perform next weekend? Not really, no. Um, like I say, that, that last fight. You know that was that was a lot of pressure. You know, going in there fighting for the British title over twelve rounds. So it's you know it's it's a fight. Um, treating it like any other fight, but just go out there and do what I do best. And of course, you'll be you'll be going in there hoping to win. And if you do win, 
what do you what do you feel is next for you? Uh, I think we'll be looking for a title straight away um, early next year. So you know, whoever's got them titles, we'll be looking to, looking to get it. You know, some good domestic fights out there. So whoever's got the um, whoever's got the titles, we're, we're going for them. And I can only imagine that you want to fight for the British title again, which uh, is currently going to be fought between Bill and Smith and Dion Juma. Um, I yeah. do believe that was actually supposed to be tonight, but it's now going to be rescheduled for a future date. Um, yeah, it's with you, but no. Sorry, mate, my cat's... No, you're all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Taking well, over the interview. <laughs> well, what, what are your thoughts on that fight? Um, you know, I think, I think Bill and Smith will come on top of that fight. Um, possibly, I don't know. Um, I haven't seen too much of Juma, but... You know, we'll see what see what's there after that fight. But you know, we've got the British, we've got the Commonwealth, we've got the Europeans. So there's a lot of lot of title fights to look at. We'll see what's uh, best to go for next year, early next year. And obviously, you'd prefer to fight for a title. But the beauty of the domestic scene in the cruiserweight is that it's it's it always seems to be exciting. And another fight out there for you is possibly that React Four rematch. Is that something you're interested in? Definitely, yeah, definitely. We did try to get that, um, you know, after, after that, after that fight. But um, I think it was turned down. But yeah, definitely, we, we would definitely say that fight. I'm not sure what his plans are, where he's going with it. But and sticking with the cruiserweights, there's going to be another British cruiserweight fighter in a big fight coming up. Lawrence O'Coley is fighting for the WBO world title. How yeah. do you rate his chances in that fight? Um, you know, I've been in the ring with Golatsky. Um, I've sparred him a couple of times now. You know, he's a good, solid fighter. Um, you know, he's obviously got that. He's, you know, he's tough, strong, uh, southpaw. But I think, I think Golatsky will come on top. To be honest. And we can't ignore the fact that you are on a massive show next weekend. Danny Dubois versus Joe Joyce. What's your prediction? I'm going to go with Dubois. Um, I do like the guy. Um, you know, no disrespect to Joyce. He, you know, he's a good fighter as well. Um, you know, he's very accurate, strong. Um, but I think Dubois, being the younger man as well, I think he's. Uh, I think he's going to come on top. We will leave things there for now, Jack. But thank you very much for speaking to me in boxing. No, thank Social. you, mate. And I'm Please sure stay. that we'll catch up during the week. Thanks very much, mate.